Welcome back to SnowRunner. This is just a continuation of oh, continuation of the last video. I just stopped the video and restarted it uh, because I screwed up and I brought the wood I need for this bridge. And we're on Drummond Island, and I cannot deliver it here. I have to deliver it to the other side. So this is the big ramped flatbed and I am not getting that thing turned around. What I can do is I can go through here with the P16 by itself and then follow this road down and I know there's a trailer here that I've already unlocked and it has two wood on it. So then I'll pull that over here and I need wood for this bridge but that's not going to do me any good over there. So I'm going to pull that trailer through here, come up, unlock, uh, get this bridge fixed, then I'll hook back up to this trailer and pull it around here and fix that bridge. That'll open up this half of the map. So that's what I am doing right now. So I had to back up. And now I'm very thankful that I went ahead and got the upgrade and put the bigger engine in here. Not the biggest, but I put the basically the middle powered engine in it. Because I'm going to need that little bit of extra torque to get up that road. Oh, don't tell me you're stuck. Get the P16, you don't get stuck. Better not say that. Karma might just rear its ugly head and I'll get stuck coming through. Diff lock. Oh, diff lock is always on. There we go. Just need some encouragement with the front wheels. Try to pull that rock down a little bit. Get it out of the way. Let's go into low gear. So I can hit that rock again. going to go up here. See if I can get over it now. There we go. Sometimes you have to work the physics. I like to get up here. There we go. 
Yeah, I don't think I could have made that with the trailer. I'm actually going the wrong way, but that's all right. I want to make sure that I can get up that hill. So they said in the game trailer, your choices determine what kind of gameplay you'll have. Last episode I was just chatting along and not really paying attention to where I was going. And I missed my turn. Which I was heading for Island Lake and I was going to come this way into this map. And I missed the turn till I was almost to the top of the hill on Smithfield Dam and realized that I'd made a mistake. So I wouldn't have had near the trouble if I'd have made my turn correctly. But that's okay. Life lessons learned. always learning in life and that lesson was pay attention to what you're doing and there's the wood oh, I don't guess I did discover this I saw it but I didn't drive over here to it scout vehicle which is why it wouldn't show me on the map what was on the trailer okay cut through the woods Try to avoid the telephone pole. Uh, you should have noticed when I was trying to get up the hill, I kept putting it in low gear and it just didn't want to go. That's because of the engine. And I know I've got a trailer here that I could have hooked up and loaded the wood up with. But in this hardcore mode that I'm playing, I am not allowed. I am not allowed to auto load anything. So I will be going past the fuel station. So I don't need to fill up with gas. Uh, I don't want to use that scout tanker unless I have to. Because that's another thing with this hardcore mode. If I buy gas at the fuel station, it's going to cost me $3 a gallon. And I'm going to keep track of that. So I don't want to run my scout trailer out of fuel unless I have to. And over here at the fuel station, there is a big tanker. Excuse me. There's a big tanker. The tanker is mine. The fuel is mine. So using the fuel out of the tanker doesn't cost me anything.
before I go down there, I'm going to get me something to drink here. Alright, kind of got choked up there for a second. Go down here, cross the river twice, come up the other side. This thing does not have what you would call a really flexible suspension. <clears throat> So if you watch my last video, you'll uh, recall that I brought the Lodestar over here, which I consider the best scout vehicle in the game, and actually had to winch myself through this probably five times. And this truck just glides right on through it. So you can see my big fuel tanker up there. So again, if I get fuel here, I've got to keep a tally of all the fuel that I get from the gas station, and it's going to cost me $3 a gallon. But this fuel tanker here is mine. I discovered it, so all of the fuel in it it belongs to me and I can use that for free this is a trailer that I can sell later on and that's another key thing uh, I can sell trailers but I cannot buy trailers so I have to use the trailers the map provides me it's going to kind of suck when I get to Alaska because there's not that many trailers over there. I will have more vehicles than I have trailers. <clears throat> but it's something that I will have to do. Alright, so I need to go on forward. Because I'm already tracking it. off to the side a little bit and we build a bridge didn't get very much out of it but hey it's money and it's XP driver rating points so I want to get this trailer out of the way so I can get the bigger trailer do a 27 point turn try to get this monster turned around and you will notice if you play this game if you bring one of the other trucks over here one of the other big trucks uh, it will have issues getting through this mud this truck has no issues getting through the mud. So detach it. It just has issues turning.
So I had brought this wood over from Smithfield Dam, knowing that I needed four. And now I'm going to have two extra. But I will use them somewhere else. I can't remember if it's one or, I mean, uh, two or three more bridges that I need to build. But I do know one of the bridges takes, I think it's steel, wood, and concrete slabs. It takes three different things to fix it. And it's the one that leads over to the dock. Now you cannot get all-wheel drive in this vehicle. And really, you don't need it. But it would be nice to have. That would make this a hell of a vehicle for rough terrain. But with this bridge complete, what I'm getting ready to do, it will actually open up the lumber mill over here so that I can get more wood. I still need to bring a crane over here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just had a bad thought of what if I have to be on that side to get this bridge, but it doesn't look like I do. And let's make sure I have this one up. So support your local rangers. And it is that bridge. Okay. That's the road we went down to cross the river. Pay attention where I'm going. Birch trees don't move. Now that little pine tree wouldn't stand in my way. go through the mud when you cut through the grass. I am going to leave this parked here. And we're going to go get our Lodestar. And should I go ahead and 
I need to unlock the rest of the maps. I also need to push that out of the way. And to get this stuff out of the way. Go, roll away. Should be able to get around it. Because I have a timed event here. And I want to go ahead and do that timed event. So I have not done the timed event with this vehicle. And the timed event is a race with the rain, the weatherman. There's already, we're already getting reports that the road to the farm may be washed out from the rain. We need you to get there right now and check it out before it gets any worse. We're all counting on you. So for this one, the farm is over here. So how you get there is you drive through here. Actually drive, yeah, through here. And you come down here and you've got to cross this. Come up and you go to the farm. This is a really easy, easy one to do. And you get $2,100 and $120 XP and you can do this over and over and over and over again. And it takes you less than a minute. So a minute over there, a minute back, and you can keep running it over and over. So we're going to go ahead and accept it and take off. But you got to move those barrels out of your way first. So again, I haven't done this mission with this vehicle. And the only issues I think I'm going to have are right here. And it got over pretty good. So easy money, 51 seconds. Ah, and there's my steel and my concrete slab that I need for the other bridge. So if I wanted to, I could just drive back over and do it again. So it's one of the quicker ones you can do. Uh, but right now, I want to hit the watchtower. So the road to the watchtower is right there. And there's also a vehicle here that I need to pull out. So I can hit the watchtower, come over and get this vehicle and pull it out to here so that I can deliver it later on while I go get the rest of these watchtowers. There's only one, two watchtowers left. Now that was kind of weird. Now there is a mission that I got stuck over here picking up a load and actually had to bring the Western Star with a flatbed trailer, a semi-trailer, and bring it through here and force it around that rock. And that is not a mission I enjoyed. So this time when I do this mission, I'm going to come this way. 
force it around when it's empty. So I am going the wrong way. And it is the road to my left. Where is it? So my back, yeah, my back end's pointing the right way. Got a little confused because that little bitty trail that was on my right. That's not a road. So I gotta stay over here. It's the only issue this vehicle has right now is it does not have the suspension lift and the bigger tires. I can't get those till I go to Alaska. I believe this will give me one upgrade. Nope, no upgrades on this one. But plenty of missions. get stuck or roll over. The only thing that can save you is the Han Marshall. I don't like that truck. It's not that I have anything against the Russian vehicles because I love the Tega. It's just the Con Marshall. I don't like driving it. I know you're out of gas. But you carry fuel. And now you're not out of gas. It took me a long time to figure. I drove this truck around a lot in my other playthrough before I figured out that it actually carried gas cans because you can't see them the gas cans are located behind the tires and you really don't pay any attention you can't see them and it wasn't until I had to use those tires for another mission and once I took the tires out I saw gas cans So, I want to go to my left. Do I want to go to my left? Yeah, that's the only way over there. That's how it went last time. I don't remember this. I don't know how centered it.
actually used the Chevy pickup in my other playthrough to do this particular mission. Uh, oh, back up. Okay, accept it. And we'll go ahead and track it. And pull this beast out of the water. Tourists brought this vehicle over here, thinking they could go mud riding or whatever, and promptly got it stuck. So I'm going to go to this side. Get you in close. And if I remember correctly, when I pulled this out on the other playthrough, I actually pulled it most of the way through here with it on its side. As I flipped it over. I think I flipped it over here. I think it was one of those I got it stuck. And it was one of those screw up moments that you're coming with me. So, I need to continue down, or up, and then down, and go around that sharp, cur or, uh, sharp turn over here. And taking a lot of damage. It would be easier if I put gas in the uh, scout, but I don't want to waste my gas. So let's go ahead and repair. And we'll repair the, yeah, repair the engine. What? I want to repair the engine. So I have 15 points. Huh. Oh, I guess since I don't have enough repair points, it won't let me use a few of them. It won't let me to use any of them. So let's... Disconnect the winch and try it again. Oh, there it was. Okay. So I guess it's because the winch was hooked up.
All right, so this needs to go to the worker's house, which is way up here. And I'm not going to go all that way. I will take it part way. And then deliver it the rest of the way later because I need to get the other watchtower opened. too far. Nope. I'm going to have to go get some fuel. I have 14 gallons left. So I need to... This will be delivered to the left. And... I need to head back to the fuel station. Before I run out of gas and need to be rescued. But I have a new bridge. And still heading the right way. I will eventually have to get this thing back to the garage so that I can restock my repair points. And I'm not going to spin my tires because I need to get fuel. Come on. There we go. Come on, pup pup. Fuel station's just ahead. Go off to my left to avoid this mud. And use the tanker because that's free gas. Refuel. Add on and in the load star. And I'm good to go on gas. But I will have to get the 
E16 out there and fix me up because I need some repairs. And then I head for the watchtower. So where is the P16? Oh, it's way over here. Oh. Well, I can make it this far. Because unfortunately, I cannot get repairs from the repair trailer unless it's hooked up to a truck that can haul it. Ah, crap. As soon as I got in there, I realized I screwed up. I'm going to try one more time. Ah, poop. Wasn't paying attention what I was doing. Uh, but I want to try one more time the maintenance trailer because I really haven't tried since the 5.0 update. And see if I can get repairs from it. Dark Cross Road. So attach my winch to the trailer. And then see if it will let me do repairs. Nope. So it has to be a vehicle that can haul that trailer. All right, so let's go hit this other watchtower. Try not to take too much damage. Well, shoot. This may not have been a good route. I thought this would go around, but... doesn't seem to. Ah! So the watchtower. Need to continue on. I wish they had like a small maintenance trailer with a few hundred repair points that you could pull behind the scout. I think that would be pretty cool. Or just make it to where if you're in a scout you attach the winch. Ah, there's my other concrete. So I need two of those. And I took the wrong frickin' road. Okay, but I did need to find that other one there. So not a total loss. And 
it's at night so I don't want to try to cut through the woods. end up tearing myself up worse like I'm trying to do now keep driving like this I'm gonna start sparking putting on a fireworks show and easy. Not through there. I see now the game's just doing it on purpose. Tower is there. And there's a ship over there that I need to discover. So I might do that while I'm over here. Come on. Now the game's just being ridiculous. I don't remember. I may have to go somewhere else first before I discover this ship. But it'll be a good place to uh, leave off on the video. So I might have to get to P16 over here. Give me some repairs. And then I'm going to have to drive this all the way back to the garage. And get my repair points put back on here. So, this is a ship. This is a mission you've got to go to. And I've got to go somewhere else first. To open up the mission. So you can't actually see the ship on the map. But you do see two cargo containers. And I have tried. You can't go up any of the containers. You can't. There's no hidden way into the ship. Uh, it's just what it is. And you just come over here and discover it.
and actually if I can limp it back to the tunnel entrance to Smithfield Dam I do have a maintenance trailer right on the other side of the tunnel and a vehicle that can fix me up and then I can drive it back to the garage my repair points restored oh I'd be one unhappy camper if there was no winch points here Not a time for swimming. Alright, so I need to head, that one goes to Island Lake, so I need to head this way. Which, go to my left, follow it around, and take that way. And since I'm heading that way anyway, I might as well pick up this International Scout and take it with me. Because I really need to get this thing back to the garage. I could repair it no problem, but then it's I can't take repair points out of the trailer uh, one of the maintenance trailers. I can't take points out of that to put into this truck. If I want to get my repair points back, I have to go back to the garage. And... I'm heading in the right direction. So let's go ahead and get this thing delivered and get it off my butt. I did take the right way, right? Yep. And I also have a fuel tanker right up here. So it can, and then my fuel cans are in there too. So you can see the fuel cans. Uh, let's get under some light. And you can see them glow in there. But if you are driving it, you don't really see the gas cans. So they're kind of hidden. But when you go in the menu, that should have been my first clue 
because it said refuel and I never noticed it. Try to start all you want. All right, accept that. And right up here is my gateway. Tunnel. Let's go get repaired. Any day now. So the 10 hut drumming bridge is one metal beam and one concrete slab. So I know where I can find both of those. Let's get fuel first. Transtar. That's not what I wanted. And since it's going to let me, let's fill the trans store up. Because I'm going to need the trans star to come over here and hook up to this trailer so that I can do all my repairs. And then head it down to the garage so I can get all my repair points put back in the truck. So I'm going to do that, uh, and I'm going to, go, going to go ahead and end this episode. So if you like the episode, leave me a like. Uh, leave me some feedback. Let me know how I did, uh, what I can do to do better. Uh, if you didn't like it, let me know why. And I will see you in the next episode. So until then, have a good one.